All right, so now I've propped it up because the frame is higher, but I wanna make sure that I uh, measure it exactly where the frame's gonna be. Um, I've propped it up and I've uh, centered it uh, from left to right. Make sure you got the same distance on the left between the uh, uh, battery rack and the actual um, uh, sheet metal there uh, in the dip down in the, in the trunk. Um, make sure you got the same distance between left to right. Um, this is what you see is visible. It doesn't have to be the same exact distance between the rack and the frame, but this is what you see, so you want to make sure that it looks correct. And uh, um, also the uh, top part uh, back in there, make sure that that's the same distance from the front. And if it's not, you can uh, adjust it from there. So now I've marked on the side, on each side where the midway point is to start cutting out. Now, I already know that the uh, frame itself is um, roughly uh, three inches above the start, or the bottom of the frame is three inches above the tub. So, what I'm gonna do is, and the frame is four inches tall, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and measure, um, you know, the distance upward uh, from the tub to kind of mark where the uh, bottom of the frame is. Um, and then I know that it's four inches tall, and then I'm gonna also measure the distance between where the tub starts and where the top of the frame is. So just to kind of give me a general idea of where it is. Now it doesn't have to be 100% specific because when you start, when you drill a pilot hole to uh, kind of determine where you're at, just drill a small hole to see if that's where you're supposed to be and go from there. All right, so now I've drilled out those pilot holes and what I'm gonna do is just go underneath the frame and measure how far up they are or where exactly they came out at. All right, hopefully you can see that the hole where it came out at and it's got nice little shadows and the sun beaming through so you can see it came through right there. Now, how I'm gonna go about doing this is I'm gonna cut it out to where, because we want the frame to sink down as far in there as possible to give us enough clearance. I'm going to uh, measure where the hole came out at and the distance that it's gonna take to get down to the bottom. And um, then I'm gonna go inside the trunk and mark that. I'm gonna do that on each hole individually because they might be slightly different. All right, so now I have marked on the inside uh, two inches basically down from where I was, uh, that's where it needs to be. So I'm gonna mark a line, then trace out the square stop. All right, so now I've uh, marked the squares and uh, you can see pretty much how close I am to the bottom. Um, when cutting these out, I'm gonna cut them out pretty much uh, a little bit more than the lines uh, because to give enough room for the square stock to go through and not rub as the car is driving. All right, so the holes are cut, or the squares are cut. I am going to have to grab down the uh, frame a little bit uh, to give me bare metal. And we're going to stick these in for the pegs and center them, tack them in. All right, so now I'm going to uh, mark basically just far enough for us to put the bolt in the back. So somewhere in here, give or take. All right, so here's our nubs. You're going to want to file down the edge, like kind of round it just a little bit. And you'll want to make sure that you get the whole thing smooth, real smooth, um, because when it goes to slide in, if it's got anything that's holding it from going in, it will stop it. So get it nice and clean. And on the inside you, of your square stock, you've got a seam most of the time that is right in the way also. So you're gonna need to take something and uh, grind that down just a tad as well. Just kind of clean up the inside in case there's any random metal in there that's gonna slow you down from uh, sliding it right in. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, is measure from the um, cutout, not the frame, the cutout, to the edge of the battery rack. And that's what's gonna be the oversleeve that's going to uh, connect to the other portion to touch the frame. So 
basically we want the uh, square stock to go through the hole just barely so it fills the gap there so basically it's going to stick through just just a little right there so I'm going to measure that and then start cutting those as well I'm going to when I do cut them I'm going to measure them but I'm also going to leave about a half inch uh, over so that when it's time to trim them to fit it'll be easy to cut all right now that you've cut your pieces and uh, this one is too long which it's supposed to be uh, you want to verify that you clean out the inside of it and so it will actually slide in just go right in all right then you'll want to take and line it up with your hole and slide it out so now you can see where it's touching this piece the inner piece is touching the frame and you'll want to slide it just far enough to where the extra or the bigger um, square stock is just sticking beyond now once you've got that figured out you can so I want it just about right there all right now you can hold the two together and take it to your drill press and drill a hole straight through both pieces of metal while it's marked now that you've marked it you'll want to make sure that your, your bolt will go through then you'll take your nut slide it in over there and get it on to the uh, uh, bolt here and tighten it down really good and then uh, you'll want to tack weld your nut on the back side of where it meets the inner piece all right so assuming that you did it right uh, it should look something like that pretty much uh, uh, weld the bolt and be very very careful not to touch the, the or excuse me weld the nut and be very careful not to touch the bolt so which is a tedious task in itself but try not to do that if you do accidentally touch it uh, or if you've got something pretty much running the whole thing um, if you get a little bit of uh, splatter on the bolt it's okay um, most of the time when you start to loosen it up you can just knock it right off it may be a little harder to uh, screw in and out but it'll still work just fine so now we're going to attack the nubs to the frame and I'm going to if your frame is not squared off like ours is, you're going to have to make sure that this one and the one on the other side line up and are level uh, with each other so when they do slide on and off, it's a little bit easier. So for example, if, you're, if your frame was causing it to turn like this, you're going to need to trim your square stock, square stock to uh, fit flush against it you know, in, with a square. So we're going to tack these in and then uh, start to put it all together all right so now it should look something like this I'm gonna measure how much I need to cut off to make it perfect and uh, I'm going to leave a little bit um, I'm gonna cut off a, a little bit more probably about an eighth of an inch to put end caps on the end of these bars that are sticking out